Hey everyone, How to Unity here. And before getting into today's video, make sure you guys check out my newly released game on the Android App Store. And it's called Raining Boulders. I'll have a link in the description below, so make sure you guys go check that out. Leave a review, give me feedback on that review so I can make it better. And with that, we can get into today's video. So today's video is gonna be covering how to make an object patrol between two points, um, like moving back and forth. Okay, so in our scene, we have an object which is going to be patrolling between our two points. And our two points are marked by marker A and marker B. So marker A and marker B. And they are basically just two planes with different colors on them. And underneath each of our markers, we have the points in world space. So that's slightly above our plane. And I also have an FPS controller, so when we click play and enter uh, the game scene we can actually visualize what's going on so now if we go into our floor we're going to go into window AI and navigation and I already baked a nav mesh surface on um, the floor but we're gonna just take it back a couple of steps and I'll show you what I did so if we clear this so first thing you're gonna want to do is once once you open up the navigation window, you're going to want to go to Object and click Navigation Static. And that will let you bake the nav mesh surface onto the floor. So you just basically got to click Bake and it should look like this. And now you're ready and set to go. So on our object also, we're going to go into Inspector and make sure you add a nav mesh agent. I already did that, but I'll show you again. So simply search up nav mesh agent and we're going to set stopping distance. We'll actually just set it to zero. Let's keep it at zero. So that's the scene setup. And now we can go into our script and I have a script called object patrol. It's an empty script and we can just double click on it, open up in Visual Studio. So first thing we're going to do is say using unity engine dot AI and we're gonna say public we're gonna get a reference to all of our objects that we're gonna be using so public transform point a and public transform point B and public bool move back and finally, public nav mesh agent, and we're going to call it object. So we don't need to do anything in our start method. And in update, first thing we're going to say is if move back is equal to true, we're going to set destination of our object to point a dot position dot position there you go and we're going to check if the object if the object's path is still pending or if it's not pending and if our object dot remaining distance is less than or equal to object dot stopping distance then our object dot set destination point b dot position And we also set move back to false. And now outside of this, we're going to say else. And we're going to say object dot set destination point b dot position. We can just copy and paste this over. But in this case, we're just going to simply change this to move back 
is equal to true. So once our object reaches the point A dot position and the remaining distance is less than the stopping distance, it's going to enter this part of our if statement and it's going to set the destination back to our point B dot position, which was our starting position. And once our object has reached our point B dot position, which will be in this else check, um, it moves back to the move back equal to true. So that's basically it for the the script setup. And now if we go back into Unity, we can drag and drop our object patrol script onto our object. And we can set our references. So marker or point A for point A to transform and point B for point B's transform and our object for our nav mesh agent. Now if we click play, we can visualize this with our FPS controller. So it goes to point B, goes to point A, and back to point B, back to point A. And as you can see, it's basically just constantly doing this. Once it reaches the other position, once it reaches the other position, it goes back to its starting position. So the nice thing about this is that NavMesh has auto rotation built into it. So it looks a little bit more realistic than just a cube moving back and forth. But um, yeah, so this is a little new take on object patrolling. The common method used would be vector3.lerp. And this might not be the most efficient way but it's different and yeah, so that's basically it. And um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more content. And I'll see you guys on the next one.